Um, there are quite a few problems we encountered when uh, we, we built the bandstand. Um, as in that um, some of the design had to be changed because we were concerned about the stability which is why we went for largely steel um, uh, in its construction. We generally got over all the problems that we encountered. Um, other problems would have been uh, at a very late stage in the construction we, we were told that we required a lightning conductor which hampered the program, the very tight schedule we had for about two weeks while we uh, dug a, a trench entirely around the bandstand to incorporate um, a ring conductor to uh, make the bandstand totally safe. I'm Eddie Barry, I'm Rotarian, last year's past president. Uh, three years ago we uh, started the project and decided to build a new bandstand down here on the meadow, uh, this being the sixth bandstand for Starport. Um, we set about uh, raising funds by advertising uh, buy a brick um, to build the bandstand um, and that soon realised uh, £20,000. Uh, in fact we achieved £22,000 uh, with various uh, uh, sponsors from, from the general public who have been excellent and very supportive. Over the three years we've, uh, we've got the plan together um, where Forest District Council have been very supportive as well um, and uh, helped us with the building of it. So we're here today um, to open the bandstand and hopefully to give quite a, quite a bit of pleasure uh, to people who visit Starport and also the residents of Starport on Severn. The uh, bandstand will be opened today by the new Chief Constable of West Mercia, he's only just arrived, Mr Paul West, um, and he will officially open it at half past two this afternoon. Uh, there's uh, the, the chairperson of Wire District uh, Forest Council, uh, Pauline Harewood, who uh, will be here to uh, officiate as well. Uh, and lots of councillors, I hope, and, uh, and the public, general public from Starport, and all those that have bought a brick.
Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the President and members of the Rotary Club of Starport on Seven, I welcome you to the opening of the bandstand. Uh, in particular, I welcome our Chief Constable, Mr. Paul West, who's in the front here, and also Mrs. Pauline Hayward, Chairman of the Wire Forest District Council, and her good husband, and all the other councillors as well. Thank you for coming along this afternoon. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to welcome also the Reverend Barry G G Gilbert uh, from St. Michael's and Old Angels Parish Church, Starport, and also the Reverend John O'Brien from St. Wilson's and St. Thomas of Canterbury Catholic Church in Starport, who will guide us through uh, the short service of dedication. I'll now hand you over to the Reverend Gilbert. Thank you. We tried to think of uh, a couple of hymns that a band would really like to play, so that's why we came up with our choice for today. So we'll it's great to start the life of a new piece of civic furniture with a hymn and the hymn Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. celebration today marks the culmination of three years of fundraising activity by Starport on Seven Rotary Club who've raised £20,000 to provide this wonderful facility for the benefit of the people of Starport and the very many, many visitors that are attracted to the town. I'd like to take this opportunity, both myself and on your behalf, to thank all of those who've worked so hard to turn this project into reality. The local Rotary Club and the members and officers of the Starport Town Council and Wire Forest District Council and indeed all the members of the community who have supported this project. Having been asked to assist in the opening this afternoon, I came over here three weeks ago just to uh, do an advanced recce, if you like, just to make sure I knew what I was going to be up to. Um, and I found difficulty in identifying which was the bandstand, because three weeks ago, some of you may know, um, the building work was, I would suggest, in its infancy. And it's, it's amazing to come today and see what a fantastic result it's been. Clearly lots of really hard work by an awful lot of people. And of course, it's a great pleasure for me um, to be able to join the West Mercy Constabulary 
band in the bandstand today. It's, it's great that they've been able to take part in the premiere performance, um, along with the Loft Rock Band, who I think are playing later, and John Teasdale. And I'm sure that this bandstand will continue to provide many years of enjoyment for the people that live in Starport. You know, it's, it's a sign of the times, and I guess it's an understandable sign of the times, that in policing, like in all public services, we have to increasingly look to see how every pound is being spent. And there are not many constabularies left in England and Wales that can proudly produce a police band. Very, very few, in fact. Um, and it's a real pleasure for me to be Chief Constable of Force that continues to proudly produce a band which provides great entertainment for an awful lot of people. So it's an opportunity for me publicly to thank the band and their officials on behalf of West Mercy Constabulary for all the good work that they do. Thanks for that, thank you. So it only remains for me to officially declare the bandstand open and to invite you to applaud once more, please, but this time the efforts of all of those who have worked so hard to provide this facility for you and for all of the people who will come and enjoy the facility in years to come. Thank you very much. Almighty Father, we offer our thanks for the gifts of melody, of music, to lighten the spirit and encourage the heart, and dedicate this bandstand for our use and to your glory, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And gentlemen, I would like to uh, say a few words, if I may, on behalf of Starport Rotary Club. Um, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, can I first of all thank the Chief Constable, Mr. Paul West, for formally opening the bandstand. I'd also like to thank the Chairman of Wire Forest District Council, Councillor Pauline Hayward, for gracing us with her presence, and members of the uh, Wire Forest District Council and Town Councillors, and everyone who has come along in support of the event. My thanks also to the Reverend Barry Gilbert and the Reverend John O'Brien for an excellent service of dedication. During the last three years, the people of Starboard have been very generous by buying a brick in this bandstand. That means that this bandstand belongs to you, and I hope that you will bring, it would bring much pleasure and happiness to you all. I'd also like to thank uh, a few people, if you don't mind. Andrew Dickens, Head of Cultural, Leisure and Commercial Services, Wire Forest District Council. Councillor Ken Stokes, who's the portfolio holder for this uh, sort of thing, cultural uh, 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 things. Sue Harper and the staff at Wire Forest District Council. All the workers who erected this bandstand. Mark Bennett, Property Developments and Management. Uh, Rotarian Jim Perry for his outstanding contribution to this bandstand. Uh, Rotarian Vic Mitchley for his energy in selling very many bricks around the town. Uh, and all my fellow Rotarians. Two people that I would like to remember who gave a great deal of help and support who sadly died in June, July, were Rotarian Harry Morris, past district governor, and John Pugh, Wire Forest District Council, who was there, then the project manager. We intend to place two plaques on the bandstand at a later date in memoriam of them both. Well, I've got some flowers for the Chief Constable's wife. She is in the audience somewhere. I know she was coming across, but maybe I can present them to the Chief to give her later on. And the other book here, flowers, are for Sue Harper. Where's Sue? Sue's been tremendous in helping us and worked very hard, particularly over the last five or six weeks. Sue, thank you very much on behalf of us all.
Yeah, I hope that, um, that's, that the bandstand will be a, a success. Uh, I hope that it will be free from vandalism, which, are, which is one of the uh, concerns that we've got about it. Uh, but um, hopefully it will bring a lot of pleasure, as I've already said, to a lot of people who visit Starport and the residents of Starport as well.